Hey guys, welcome back, Michael here. The Linux distro Elementary OS shocked its followers again after the release of version 7 with the fact that an upgrade from OS 6.1 to OS 7 is not offered. But there is the Debian way which makes an upgrade online possible. I'll show you how to do that in this video, so stay tuned. Some of you seem to have been more upset by my review of Elementary OS 7 than I intended. Therefore, consider this video as a little goodie from me. With that, I am not reinstalling Elementary OS, but giving a helping hand to those of you who don't quite know how to get from OS 6.1 to OS 7. Before we jump right in, here are some very important notes. The way I will show you is the classic Debian way to upgrade. The developers of Elementary OS themselves recommend a fresh install as upgrade. Whether you follow their recommendation or mine is up to you. The important thing is that with my way you leave the standard and do the whole thing at your own risk. I show you all the necessary steps, but I cannot intercept all possible error situations that may occur on your side in advance. Also, I don't want to push you to do anything. Elementary OS 6.1 is based on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. That means that due to the Ubuntu strategy of long-term maintenance, you will receive security patches for Elementary OS 6 until 2025 and are initially well positioned with respect to fixed security vulnerabilities. The Elementary OS developers will soon stop their work on Elementary OS 6. This means that the maintenance will be shut down and in best case patches for Pentium Desktop will be released that address security vulnerabilities. A further development of the user interface will no longer take place. The resources of the developers are too manageable for that and therefore they concentrate on the current version which is currently Elementary OS 7 Horus. So you don't have to do the upgrade shown right now but in principle you have time until 2025 with it. So no stress and no quick fix. Now the urgent appeal. Take care of a complete backup of all your data. If you haven't done that, it's better to leave it for now. Something could always go wrong and the worst case is that your data is lost. So please don't start with the following steps before you have made a complete and up-to-date backup of your data. My suggestion is to watch the whole video first without any obligation. Just start the video again when you do the upgrade and pause it at the appropriated sequences. Before we get started, let's bring the current system up to date. You can do this either from the App Store or via the terminal. I prefer the console way and I execute this statement. Not to worry, all necessary statements are given you in the show notes below. So I expect that nothing will occur here now because I updated the system before I recorded this video. To be on the safe side on your system, reboot the system once with sudo reboot. The second step is to turn off all power settings in the system settings so the screen doesn't lock during the process. That could bring serious problems, so please turn off all power options for now. The Debian way says that we change the package sources. This is done as follows. Open a terminal and become root. So in my case I type sudo i and now I'm root. In the first step, we change the main package source and thus change the source Ubuntu 20.04 to Ubuntu 22.04. This is done by revising the version name. We replace Focal with Jemmy. So we go to etc apt and now I will open the source.list with vi. vi sources.list and now we can change the entry Focal to Jemmy. You can do it line by line or you can do it automatically in vi. So, before I have to do all manually, I will open here my script. And not to worry, all statements are also in the show notes below. So, I typed in colon and now let's jump to the right line and we pick here. Yeah. Copy and paste. And now you will see in all lines that focal will be replaced by Jemmy. There we go. Escape, colon, right quit. 
and we are done with the sources list. Elementary OS also maintains its own package sources. We need to make adjustments here as well as in other sources you may edit, for instance, other PPA repositories. So we go to sources list.d and let's check what we have here. I also found in the next cloud client and the elementary tweak tool. I also have to change this sources. But let's start with elementary list. Colon, and then just paste. Chip, done. done. Colon, right quit. The next is the patches list. We are in patches list. Colon, paste. Here we go. Right quit. So now I will deal with the next cloud PPA. Colon. Done. And finally, last but not least, the tweak tool PPA. Colon. Paste. Right quit. Very well. So now we make a final check. Grab focal star. And you see there are also my backup files as a result. That's good. Grab Jemmy sources. Oh, no. S star. And now I don't have my backup files, I have the real files. This is my intention that I wanted to do. So now we go back one directory and we perform the same again. Focal. Also my backed up files. And now we check the sources list and we found here Jemmy lines. Now the upgrade starts. Now it gets serious and from now on there is no turning back. I will add this command line and the prefix minus y confirms all questions from apt. So now enter. It will come back with two or three command prompts. That's okay. But the most of the time it will run automatically. Now it's the right time for a short break for a coffee or tea or a beer, like you want. And I would say, see you later, alligator. So we reached the first prompt. For me, it's okay to restart the services without asking. So I push yes and continue. We reached the second prompt. With Ubuntu, Firefox is now delivered as a snap package, hence this dialog. We have to accept it for now and I will show you later how to remove snap and put everything back the way it was. So I hit OK and continue. If everything went well, we reboot the system and then we continue with the post processing. So now light a candle if that helps and then go to the terminal, type in reboot and press enter. After reboot we will continue. So here we go again. What's new? I will finish this wizard next. Next, and I'm ready to go. Now let's make a first quick release check. Well, it doesn't look that bad, doesn't it? Then we can go on with the post processing. All of these steps are made optional for you. If you like the Pentium tweak tool, go on. If you like Snap, then you don't have to follow my steps. But if you want to have the Tweak tool, if you want to have the newest version of Thunderbird, if you want to have Firefox back as Debian package, then I will recommend you to follow my steps now. First, I will open again my script. Reopen the terminal. I already have installed the Tweaks tool. Here you can see it. So the step by entering the PPA into the system and install it is for me not necessary. The statement you will find here, sudo apt repository PPA Scott Pension tweaks and then install it like given. The next step is the system tuning. So we will purge snap and some Ubuntu tools that may be installed. So now let's continue with system tuning. We first uninstall Firefox as snap package sudo snap remove firefox 
now we're gonna purge snap and other Ubuntu tools may installed. Now we're gonna delete some snap related stuff. Okie dokie. And now we're gonna hold snap for future so that it's not reinstalling. Okay, now I will add the FlatHub repository. This is may not necessary, but nevertheless, it's done. Now I add the Mozilla security PPA for Thunderbird. I'm a Thunderbird user, so it's my interest. If you use elementary mail, this is not necessary for you. Now let's add the PPA for Firefox. So now let's take care about Firefox, a Debian package. Just mark all lines like I've shown and just enter them or paste them and enter. Now we change the priority and now we're gonna pin it. Same procedure, just mark all, copy and paste. Okay. Now we can install Firefox as Debian package. Enter yes. And now after a reboot, we are back again. So now let's come to the conclusion. Like I said at the beginning, it works online. The recommendation of reinstalling I find incomprehensible, but in the end, everyone has to figure it out for himself. I would clearly go the online way. It's more elegant and with Debian it is the standard to do it that way. Why elementary OS sees it differently, <laughs> I don't know. My guess is that there are too many manual steps for the casual user. I understand it too. What I don't understand is why in over two years since OS 6 they haven't managed to get an upgrade wizard in place like their competitors have. If something has gone wrong with the upgrade on your system and it's not booting up as expected, then I would take a quick look at where the problem is and try to get the system up and running with moderate effort. If it is not fixed after, let's say, an hour, I would probably reinstall OS 7 and restore the previously backed up data. That means loading and setting up all the programs again, I know, but it's better than having no system at all. If you only have one machine handy, you may want to download the OS 7 ISO and flash a USB stick with a tool like Etcher, so you don't have to worry about it in case of a problem. The fact is, for me, the online upgrade has worked very well in several instances. It always worked and I hope that it will be the same for you and this video could help you. If so, I'm happy about a channel subscription and a thumbs up and an activated bell so you can stay tuned for new videos on my channel. I wish you a lot of fun with your elementary OS Oro system. If you would like, we we'll see you on the next video. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.